Good Tuesday morning. Today is day 9 of Junk Journal January 2024 and the prompt is foliage. And many of you may already know that I have laminated lots of leaves and um, I cut some out individually and a lot of times I put them in my journals but this one is a little bit messed up but um, bubbly um, I don't like I like to put maybe some kind of focal point underneath the leaves and so I usually attach my leaves with a brad and that way they can be moved out of the way to look at other things here's some cute little ones so that's what I think I'm going to do today and I might put a quote on the page too I thought I would cover the page up with some foliage page and I do have a lot of leaf papers in this book um, that are really pretty but I think I want to include some green foliage too so I think I'm going to use green foliage paper for the background. Alright, so this is the paper I decided to use. I'm just going to glue it right on there and um, then we'll get our pick out the leaves I want to use and whatever else I need to put on it. How are all you guys doing? I hope you're doing well. I hope you're happy and healthy. Uh, I hope you're able to pursue your dreams and goals for the new year. So, let's get this glued on without bumping the tripod. Let's see if that works. Alright. I think that's good. This out of the way, and um, let's pick out the leaves we want. So I have some cut out already, but I don't know if those are the ones I'm going to choose. Uh, this one I can use. Um, this one is so big, but yeah, it's a little bit too big. I need a bigger journal for that one. So I thought what I could do is put the bigger ones in the back and then put some smaller ones on the front and um, I just need to cut some out. I think I, I want a couple of reddish ones. I'll probably do this one. and. Um, let's see, I got a yellow one, I gotta remember to leave space for the hole to go for the brad, so I guess, let's see, this one is going to be hanging upside down, I think I'll just have them all be hanging up, you know, this way, so I need to leave a little bit of extra lamination at the top. Okay. Okay, so I've got these two. And I think we'll go ahead. This one would have to go this way. Um so there's a green one, and here's a green one, and let's find a couple of little ones for the front. Hmm. Actually, I wouldn't mind like an orangey one too. So let's do this orangey one. It looks like fire. I've seen people actually use um, some of these leaves to make like collages and they made them fire. It was really cute. 
All right, so I need to remember that. Keep my little extra spot up there. Sometimes it's not that easy to, I forget and I go too close to the leaf, which isn't probably a great idea. Okay, so there's that one. Um, and a small yellow one, I think, would be nice. How about this one? Not too small. <laughs> now, I have used, um, and I might today too, use some double-sided tape and just put some of these on the page behind the leaves that I'm attaching with the brad. You can do that too. Well, something that I just thought of, I could have put my brad into this top paper and then glued it on, and then I wouldn't have the brad thing showing on the other side, but I did not do that. So, I also am wondering if I have too many to fit on the brad, but we'll find out. So, the first one I have to put on is the top one and that's the little yellow one and then I think we'll put a little green one and then this red one another green the little orangey fire one and then the big yellow one and then we'll put them in and yes it's big enough Okay, so I'll have to cover that up on the other side, but so here we go and if you Wanted to put a focal point under here you could and then you can just look at all the pretty leaves by moving them around And I just think that's a cool way of displaying many leaves on a in a journal on a page without taking up too much room or too many pages so that's my idea of foliage. However, I think I will find some kind of a quote to put underneath here. Well, I'll tell you what, my battery went dead and it's going dead a lot quicker now that I'm filming every day. Uh, but anyway, I decided to put a little quote on this piece of paper that kind of looks like leaves in the background and it's by Elizabeth Lawrence. And it just says, everyone must take the time to sit and watch the leaves change. So I'm going to just kind of glue that down here, but I'm also going to put this leaf on here with double-sided tape. And that will be the extent of my layout for um, day number, what is it? <laughs> Nine, I believe it is. All right, we're almost in the double digits. Okay, so I have my little leaf here on the side. I'm going to get that down, and then we'll just put the quote down too, which I think I'll go ahead and do with double-sided tape also. So let's do this. All right, and then this. So, tell me what you guys have been doing since yesterday. <laughs> Anything new happening? <laughs> I kept the car today because I thought that I might have to go in to HR for my job, but that's not happening today. So, um... Uh, it's not that big of a deal. I drove my husband to work, but he only works like right around the corner, so it's no big deal. He can walk if he wanted to. Um, but there's no sidewalks in between here and there uh, that are um, shoveled, so we thought it might be a good idea for him not to walk. And uh, it's so much easier than it used to be when we lived out in the middle of nowhere and when I had to drive him to work, sometimes it was 45 minutes away if I wanted to keep the car. Yes, most of the time 
we have only always had one car. And it's not so bad in the city, but sometimes in the country it was not such a great thing. Anyway, <laughs> hopefully this week I will go into HR, because I would like to try to start working. However, I'm also scared to start working, so we'll see what happens. <laughs> So here is my spread for foliage. Junk Journal January, day nine. Oh, I still have to put my number nine down and I think I'm just gonna go ahead and get a big number nine and put it on there. So I hope that you are doing well and that you're happy and healthy and safe and warm. We still have a lot of snow on the ground. My dog is actually too small. <laughs> like, I, he didn't want to go for a walk because some of the sidewalks are not shoveled and it's just too tall for him to walk through. Although he did have a little fun for a few minutes trying to do it. He looked like a little bunny hopping through the snow. It was cute. I wish I had taken a video of it. But anyway, that's it for today and I hope to see you tomorrow. Subscribe if you haven't yet. That would make me so happy and we'll see you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.